guys, I am finally done with my Project 10 pan and I'm so happy. Um, initially it was supposed to be a two month um, project pan, I had a two month deadline on it and then um, I decided at the end of the two months I only had a little more to go on a couple of products and I wanted to get them finished up in this project so I decided to extend it for a couple more weeks which you'll already know that if you saw my May favourites video because I kind of mentioned that at the beginning of that video just to make you guys aware. Um, so yeah I did manage to finish up those two products which is really good but um, technically I have failed this project because I haven't used up all 10 items um, but I guess I'll just go through and show you um, how far I got with everything and how I felt about certain things and then I'll kind of chat to you a bit more at the end so starting off with the foundation I was using the um, Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream so to begin with when I started out I was up to this mark here and then the one month update I was down to this mark here and then I actually just finished using up the last of this this morning so really really happy about that I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to finish this up in time because obviously I had the two months deadline and then it wasn't quite finished up and then I extended it for another couple of weeks and I was like oh no I can't keep extending it I, I wanted to use this up within this project um, so I'm really really glad that I did actually manage to finish that up and there was nothing more I was like really having to squeeze the tube to get the last little dregs out of this one so really happy that I finished this one up uh, next was the concealer the Revlon uh, color stay concealer in light um, the Bourjois 123 was in the shade Ivory, which is number 31 in case anybody's wondering. Um, so Revlon Colour Stay Concealer, uh, when I started out I was up here, by the one month update I was down to here, and then I have used up the last of this. I haven't kind of scraped around the edges of the tube, um, because I'm not that fussed about using up every last drop of this. Um, I mean, if I was just generally using a product up, I wouldn't be that diligent to get every last little drop out anyway. So I'm happy that I've managed to get all of the kind of regular product out of this and I'm not kind of trying to scrape around to get every last little drop out. So I am calling this done and I'm very happy with that one as well. So that's two products down. Next is a product that I haven't managed to finish up. That is the Bourjois Honey Bronzer in Light. So this is where I'm up to on this one. So as you can see, I have made a lot of progress. Um, I will insert a little clip here so you can kind of compare where I was last time to where I am now. So you can hopefully see that I have used up quite a bit more of it, but there still seems to be quite a bit to go. Um, I mean, around this edge in particular, it's still fairly high up on the pan, so still quite a bit of product to use up up in there but I'm going to put this product on pause for now um, and kind of use a few other bronzers and then maybe come back to this in the sort of autumn winter time when um, I could tend to go for lighter bronzers so haven't quite finished this one up kind of gutted about that because I was kind of hoping that I would have finished it up um, but I'm happy that I've made the progress I have on it and like I said I will use it up eventually but I just want to take a break from it from now for now now that it's summer I want to bring out some of my more dark bronzers and stuff and use those instead for blushes, you guys know that I was trying to use up two different blushes, so the first one is the Benefit Coralista, which this is the progress I have on this one. Um, to be honest, I wasn't really using this up over the last month or so, I used it a couple of times, but I was kind of trying to focus on using up my other blush on this project pan, so I haven't really made any difference to this one, um, but I'm not too fussed about this, I do really really love this blush, um, and I'll probably get more use out of it over the summer, this will probably be in another project pan maybe we will see um, but yes that was the first blush and then the second one is the studio blush from elf in candid coral so this one hopefully you can see I have made quite a bit more progress on this but again I haven't finished it up it is getting there but all of these products just seem to take so long to use if anything this project pan doing this has made me realize how long products take for me to use them up. I know some people will be able to blast through all of this stuff, no problems, but I don't tend to kind of really pile it on and I don't have a lot of nights out or anything. It's not like I'm doing my makeup for the daytime and then taking it off and redoing it for a night out or anything. Um, it's just kind of like standard everyday wear. So I'm not wearing a lot of makeup every day um, and not kind of packing it on. So yeah, I'm not really able to get through products that quickly, but I am happy with the product the progress that I made on this um, and I'll probably just use this up um, outside of any project pans just to use it up and just kind of because I like it it's a nice everyday blush so I'll probably just use this up anyway um, but moving on to eye products 
Um, another product that I wasn't able to use up, and I didn't think, when I started this, I didn't think I'd be able to use this up, is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Um, so that is where it is currently, and I have been using this every single day. Um, there's maybe been a couple of days where I haven't worn makeup, in which case I wasn't using this, but every day that I've worn makeup, I have worn eyeshadow, and I have used this as the base for that eyeshadow, and I don't know if you're really going to be able to tell, but there's not really been much progress made on this because like I said in my last update it's just you use such a small amount of this each time that it's just going to take forever I could probably use this over the like until next year every single day and still not be able to finish this up so um, yeah I'm just gonna not include this in any future project pans that I do and just generally use it up um, to get out of my collection but it's still good it's still creamy it still blends okay um, sometimes it can be a little bit dry but um, generally it's fine and it doesn't smell bad or anything so I'm going to keep using that one. So on to the eyeshadow that I was using up and it was from the Storm palette from Sleek. It's this eyeshadow here, sorry trying not to blind you. This eyeshadow here, so as you can see I have actually hit pan on that. Um, so really really happy with the progress that I've made but again I haven't used it up. Um, and I'm going to park this one for now as well and just kind of leave it in my collection for now. I'm not the biggest fan of this colour to be honest. Um, when I started doing this project I was using this as a lid colour every single day just kind of on its own as a lid colour and then using crease colours. Um, and I got tired of that really really quickly and it's a lot more frostier than I remembered it being. Um, I kind of figured you know it's a nice tan beige neutral everyday kind of colour, it'll be great to wear every day, but I'm kind of over the frosty look. Um, it's fine sometimes, but I'm just, when you've been wearing the same colour every single day, you kind of get tired of it. And I was wearing other eyeshadows over the top, but the frostiness still really shows through, so um, yeah, I'm not going to use any more of that for now. I'm quite happy to have hit pan on that at least. I think I've only ever hit pan on one eyeshadow in my life and that was or that is max all that glitters so this is now the second eyeshadow that i've ever hit pan on so that just goes to show you how little eyeshadow i use each time i love eyeshadow so um yeah i'm gonna leave that one for now and use some of my other eyeshadows um but yeah really happy with the progress that i made on that one the eyeliner i have finished up which i'm really happy with so it's the model co black eyeliner and um, I really can't get any more out of that little stub. So I have on this piece of paper here, if I hold this up so I can show you, we've got the uh, top mark here where I started, and then that mark there was the one month update, and then, as you can see, that's where I am now. And I i can't really sharpen this anymore, and even after the um, pencil had worn down just from me using it as a pencil I then took an eyeliner brush like an angled eyeliner brush and was using that to get the product onto the brush to keep using it so I really have used as much of this as I possibly can um, so very happy to call this one done and that's another one in the done pile um, mascara I've also finished that one up this is the origins ginseng brightening mascara all of these products are getting so dirty my hands are getting covered in stuff so apologies for that um, yeah this mascara I really liked when I first picked it up and was happy to use it up obviously this is just a little um, deluxe sample size but um, kind of as I was using it I think after a month or so this then started drying out the formula changed a little bit and now it is officially done it's dried out I can't use it anymore um, it just kind of flakes off smudges everywhere and it's just kind of done so happy to call that one done and that's another one in the done pile but I did really like it when I first started using it but not so much towards the end and then finally is the lip product and um, I have the 17 Supreme Shine in Barely Blush. So on the back of the packaging I marked where I started and where my one month update was. This unfortunately is another one that um, I wasn't able to finish using up which I was really surprised about because I thought I would be able to finish this up. But let's see if I can show you. So that top mark there is where I started, the next one down is the one month update and then as you can see I've actually used quite a bit more, obviously I've been, I've extended my um, project for a couple more weeks but I've used quite a bit more and the way I did that was I actually used this as a cream blush before I apply my powder br blush and I've really been liking that actually, it's a really nice um, kind of neutral pink shade so it works really well on the cheeks as well 
and I've been using this as my everyday lip colour. Um, I think I mentioned in my last update that I don't tend to reapply lipstick, I don't really tend to apply any makeup products throughout the day, um, so that's probably why I haven't been able to get through this, whereas I know a lot of other people can get through multiple lip products over the course of their project pans, but um, yeah, I don't tend to reapply throughout the day, so I think if I did, I would definitely have been done with this, but I'm really pleased with the amount of pro uh, progress that I've made on this. Um, so yeah, this will probably feature in a future project pan because I do want to do more project pans in the future, which is kind of why I picked some products that I had already hit pan on or that were kind of close to being used up, just so I had that kind of satisfaction of using something up within a project pan and um, yeah, that will kind of give me the motivation to keep going and just kind of want to keep doing this. So really happy overall with my project. I know I didn't use up, I didn't even use up half of the products, but um, I'm happy with all the progress that I made on everything. It's nice when you start to hit pan on things and you feel like you're really getting somewhere. So um, yeah, I'm going to take a little break from project pans um, for the next little while. I'm not sure when I'm going to start doing my next project pan, but I will be doing a video on it. So. If you're interested in that, then like like this video, give it a thumbs up so that I know that you want to see more of these. And if you have any suggestions or tips on using products or which products you think I should use up next, then please let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions about anything, then leave those in the comments below as well. But otherwise, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my favourite products and things from May as well as what uh, products I've used up in May. Before I jump into that, I just wanted to quickly mention 